12 laps in McLaren 570S, uh, David instructing here. So, the few things before we head out, mirrors are mine, you drive, I worry about everyone else on track. If someone's behind you, I'll let you know, foot off throttles, they pass quick. When you catch people, I'll tell you to take them right or left. Um, driving automatic, paddle shifters, what do you want to do today? Paddle shift, yeah. So you up, right, down, left, they move with the wheel. We just need third, fourth, and fifth gear on this track in this car. I'll always tell you when to shift, it's just three times per lap, don't overthink it. Um, you'll get on the track, build your speed up. The orange cones, the brakes, uh, it's definitely a long brake pedal. Don't be afraid to really stand into it on the track. Um, this is a quick car, you gotta lose the speed at the end, but it means get in on those brakes. Um, I have uh, I have raced in IMSA, and I had a gotcha. FIA license previously, and, okay. uh, and I, uh, I've done three track days in the last month. Well, with this car, like I said, um, still bone stock, the big thing, it's just uber, uber lightweight on the front end. Right. Um, okay. You really need to trail in brakes. push a little. Definitely. Yeah. If you're coming off brakes too quickly, you definitely get understeer. Um, because it's just, it has really quick turbos, and so even not on throttle, it kind of feel like it's trying to accelerate. I see. Um, so take your time, drag your foot off those brakes. There's no rush. Let that suspension decompress, and just give yourself some grip on that front end. Okay. Focus on just getting down to your apexes, so you can use that power command in the corner. Even in the track track mode, there is a trash control setting. Right. Um, if you're too aggressive on throttle, it cuts the power. Yeah. It works with the steering, straighter the wheel is, more power you get. So be smooth through throttle, be smarter than the computer. Um, this trash control is definitely not as consistent as some things. It's still trying to let you have some, you know, go for it, but it sometimes it'll cut all the power, sometimes it might not. Okay. So the smoother you can be, the you know, less that computer's gonna cut British in. British electronics. Yeah, exactly. Um, other than that, like I said, just keep your eyes up, look through it. We're not going to run more than seven laps at a time. We're going to break this up into six and six, um, just so I can watch my temperatures. So we'll do six laps, either do a cool down lap, or we might just pull off for a moment, um, so I can make sure things are good. If you have questions, then we can go back out for other six. So if a guy had one of these and wanted to do a 20 minute session on the track, it's going to overheat? Or... Not that it, it overheats. We, we, it's a protocol We're for all our cars. Tires, uh... Yeah, it, it's protocol for all our cars. Okay. Um, just that, you know, these aren't set up for straight track use um, so people who don't know racing um, who don't know about boiling brakes and, and overcooking tires most people here are over driving um, and so these cars if you're not being careful with them uh, they just catch up to you especially because we don't have nice big cool down times we go from hot laps to park switch drivers hot laps park switch drivers hot laps you just it's, it's way too much for this car um, I, I noticed the steering sitting here I feel it do this once in a while it's is electronic that, steering uh, is that electronic yes yeah. yes so, right hand up shift once. We're gonna start to pull out, make a big left. Don't hit that pole. Yeah, so big old U turn in. We're gonna come to a full stop at the stop sign. We're gonna park this white line and wait for a clear track coming. Just full stop right here. And there's a whole cluster of cars right here, so no rush. Give you a little space. I'm waiting for the copper GTR coming around. He is coming through his last corner. When they come by us, so I say we're gonna pull out toward that single green cone. That light part is kind of where the track starts. Yeah. Um, as you enter the track, up shift in the second gear. When you're ready, you're clear, straight on out. Good, consistent acceleration. Up shift once, up shift once more, and start curving in. Single green cone, first turn in, be just left of it. You want us to kind of start wide, there's a little car. Look in, start curving in, apex here to the right. Look out to your exit, let that wheel unwind. Use all the track out. Let it rev up, you got a good RPM range in here. Orange cones, you start to brake smooth and firm. It'll be a little early, but get a feel for that brake pedal. There you go, one downshift, ease off. You wanna carry four through here. Be a little smoother on the entry. Slower hands coming in, it's a bigger track you think. Scan the corner coming up. Start to brake, a little harder. Start looking in, slow turning in, easing out of that brake. Shift before your hands start turning, stay right. Light brake to balance the weight and start turning in. Now just patience, maintain your speed at the top of the hill, accelerate down the hill. Hold that curve, mid-track back to the right. Good, start looking in, turning in. Very late apex, a little more steering, you're not there yet. And then only about halfway out of this corner, just end up on the right-hand side. Just need the lightest brake to balance the weight forward, apex left, accelerate straight. Good, brake smooth, eyes in, ease off that brake. Just hit your normal 
Apex. Patience on power. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're clear. Brake harder. One downshift. Look in. Start turning. Releasing the brake. Squeeze into that throttle. End up on the right. Just brush the brake. Not trying to slow it down. I just need some grip coming down that crest. You can carry pretty good speed through here. You just don't want to jump that little slope. Start looking in. Same thing. You got a lot of time through this corner. Just keep turning in. Let that car rotate in. Good. Let the wheel unwind. The TC comes off. Good. Same thing. Brush the brakes. Turn in. Accelerate. One downshift. This corner, we tend to stare at the wall too long. It means we over brake a little bit. Just looking at the wall a little too long. So when you come into brake, upshift into that chicane, look out my window. It's the only way to carry that speed on that exit. Good. So they just get those eyes in a little sooner. You feel it wanting to push? Yeah, I do feel yeah. it. Yeah. Just patience on that throttle. Release the brake. All the way right again. Don't slow down. Just brush that pedal and start turning in. There you go. Come halfway out. Accelerate. Good. Lighter brake. This is more of a high revving engine, isn't it? Yes. I mean, I, I'm yeah, you're, you're shifting. shifting in it. Absolutely. Should I wind it out a little more? Yes. Like I said, I'll call every shift. If you notice, okay. I haven't been calling shifts. Okay, yeah. You're shifting on your own. So here, brake, stay wide. Uh, my guy's going to pass you underneath. Just stay on this outside edge. Mercedes coming through. Good. Yeah. Yeah, this car is it's turbo, so all the way up. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Good. Brake harder. Downshift. Different car, different line. Don't fix it on him. There you go. So let it stay in this gear. Throttle up. You got lots of time. Brake. Now downshift. Ease off the brake. Oops. Just once. <laughs> I bumped it accidentally. You're fine. Brush the brake. Release the brake. Release. Release. So focus on coming a little tighter to that apex instead of trying to throttle earlier. Just because it's an off camber, the more speed you can carry close, the better your egg is going to be on that. Yeah. This will build that speed up. Look in. Apex left. Accelerating. Light brake. Look in. Come off that brake. Look in. Look in. Look in. Tons of space. You're downshift to second gear. We can just turn 15 miles an hour faster. Okay. Upshift. So brake a little lighter for longer. Carry that speed in. This corner's nice. You got good momentum. Braking harder. Stay wide. Ease out of that brake. Start curling your toes back. With stock cars like this, that suspension's going to compress a long way. Right. So you need that time to let it decompress. So build it up. Brake. And then just start kind of curling your toes back. And turning in. Just trying to clean up that transition between the two. So tighter. Try and knock that cone over. Get closer, closer, closer. Now throttle. You still got another six feet in there. Okay. All those stripes, it's just paint out here. So you can really get on those red and white lines. I mean, get tight to every apex. It's just more asphalt. I thought they said if we cross the blue line, it's a DNF or something. <laughs> blue line is off the track. That is our, our edge. But... That's the thing. Those are red and white. Blue line I don't care about. If you're kissing a little bit, I don't care. It just gives me a point to stop you before we have to go to gravel. Okay. Go, go, go. Pass him on the right. He's doing a cool down lap. There you go. Look in. Ease out of that brake. Release. Patience on the throttle. More steering. Now unwind. Good. Are we having some fun yet? Yeah. Start looking in, start releasing the brake off the brake. You're still trying to ride with throttle through. Don't. Brake lighter and carry brakes a little longer in. Turn, turn, turn. It's going to feel really heavy on the steering, but that's the grip we want on this front end. Good. Good. A little tighter. Look through to your exit. Unwind. Accelerate. Light, look in, come off the brake, off the brake, off the brake. Anytime you can put okay, your foot yeah, on the see. gas, yeah. Before an apex, you've over Okay. If you're that confident. You're slowing down too much. There, Absolutely. Right? Upshoot. Which is better than overshooting. Right. But just recognize we got the space. Same thing here. Start looking at look at the amount of space. Come off that brake. There you go. Because 
because if we over brake like that, that's what's getting you want to turn in so quick and aggressive on throttle. Yeah. You're just starting to build a weird habit. So brake a little lighter. Look in, start turning, come off the brake, off the brake, off the brake. Don't pop it. Just nice. start releasing. Stay right. Build the speed up. Lift off the throttle. Just turn it off the brake, off the brake. There you go. Come halfway out. Accelerate. Brake smooth. We're going to pull off the track just half a second. Take our cool down. So that blue cone just off to the right. Hold there for just a moment. So keep going. Make a little left turn. Nice. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Yeah, the, um, the mid-engine car, I haven't driven one in a while. What do you what do you drive for IMSA? What's or, that? What were you driving in the IMSA? Right here? I uh, a Kelly American Challenge and a Camaro. Okay, nice. So, yeah, like I said, makes a lot of sense. Uh, just Lately, I've been driving a Z06, a C7 brake. Z06. Off the brake? Yeah, just no brakes. Just let it sit here. It's not overcooking it. Um, so, and that makes sense. You're used to weight the front end. But on the on the mid-engine cars, I, I, I know how to do it. I just haven't done it in a while. You trail yeah. brake it in, so you plant the front tires. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, and all you're trying to do is, you're used to, if you're riding the brakes that long in your Camaro or Vette and trying to turn in, you're just going to get it to oversteer on yourself. Right, you know? yeah. You're trying to get some weight settled to the rear. The idea is, the back end of that, it's not going to come out on you. Yeah. you know, these don't get squirrely. Um, so what you want is, is like I said, you're, you're losing speed nicely, but, oh no, we're going to pull it back out right now. Okay. Um, but because you're trying to be done braking, that's why we're having to overslow so you can come off and then turn in. I see. So all it is. Like I said, just, it should move together. I'm breaking you know? too much then, basically. Pretty much. Yeah. And and honestly, if you just, if you start turning in, your hands will be happy to make that release. Um, but basically, just start releasing and turning in. Um, it's going to feel heavy on the steering because it is. There's a lot of weight, it's a lot of grip, but that's the grip we want. You know, if your steering goes loose, <laughs> there's your issue. But as long as it's hooking up, that's just grip. So be strong. Don't let that fight you. Just one motion muscle in because we just don't want to get quick. Because, like I said, you know, your line's nice, you're gonna start getting more cornering speed, and if you're, you know, twitchy at slow speed, it's gonna be an issue at fast speed. Right. Um, you know, not for any reason, just, yeah, different car. So as you pull out right here, you know, straight line's the easy part. Focus on carrying that momentum in a little smoother, just easing off the brake and just rolling your hands in. Um, you know, using that track, it, it's a big track, there's lots of space. Yeah. You know, you, you have nice speed, you have nice car control, Trust that if we're a little off, if you feel this, we're gonna fix it. If we do come in too hot or something, we'll adjust later on. But for right now, if every time we're over braking, let's just brake a little, you know, lighter for longer. We still don't want to give it away, but like I said, that this is just it's a long pedal too. It just takes a while to come out of it. You're doing nice, and we got another six laps to do. Um, any questions from you? No, it's everything's good. So far. I like it. Uh, foot on the brake, right hand up, shift once, take the big right. Let's get back into it. Said if we can focus on that, everything else kind of fall into place because early throttles might have TC kick on a little too aggressively sometimes. It's gotten into the power, just kind of keeps stacking up on things. So, full stop right here. He's gonna pull off. Well, let's wait for the Audi. After the Audi? Yep, exactly. Uh, black Audi, about two seconds. When you're ready, start to pull out. Go for it. Upshift. Upshift. Let's try and just lift. There's no brakes. Just carry that speed in. There you go. Let it unwind. Let it rev. Brake. That's good. Braking. Start slowly releasing. Releasing. Release. 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 Patience on power. There you go. Now throttle out. That was eight miles an hour faster through it last time. Very good. That same idea. Braking, hard first, lose the speed. Start easing off and turn, 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 turn. Patience, now back to the right. Rush the brake, release, start turning, start turning, start turning, wait for it. Get over the hill first, accelerate down it. Good. Ease out of that brake and patience on the throttle. Just focus on that steering. Because now you're gonna notice with this more corner speed, so like I said, a lot of times it's not the wrong gear, it's the trash control, and that's what's feeling boggy. So don't worry about trying to shift mid-corner. Brake, down, 
off shift, come off the brake, off the brake. There you go. Wait for that throttle. Because you are coming in faster, and if you start still jumping on power, it's going to bite you. Let it rev higher. Brakes, stay wide, start easing out of that brake, turning in. A little bit early. Yeah, I, could, exit. I could tell I was early and feel it pushing. Yep. It's alright. Brake, like I said, it's just a little car. Start eyes in, start turning, releasing that brake. Patience on power. Light brakes, start turning in. Wait for it, wait for it. The same thing, we haven't hit that apex yet. Until you're on those red and white stripes, watch that throttle, add more steering. You know, same thing here. No power, no throttle. Turn tighter, 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 tighter. Now throttle up. There you go. Feel the difference? Oh, yeah. yeah. Lift, start turning in tighter. Good. Brake, downshift, look in, start turning, tighter. Wait for throttle, more steering. Now let it unwind, all the way out. Wait for it. Brake, downshift to the green first, that's our turn. Now start coming in. Same thing, that was later turning, but it's still a little quicker. Don't chase him, we'll catch him because you're faster. Don't overdrive, brake. Downshift, look in, start turning, start turning, start turning. Squeeze throttle. Rush the brake. Now no throttle. More steering. Get closer, get closer, get closer. Now unwind and accelerate. Better. One downshift. He's coming off track. Just look to your apex. Don't follow him. There you go. Now stay in this gear. Don't shift till the main straightaway. This is good. Let it wind out. Turning, turning throttle. Look in, start turning in. Off the brake. Wait for it. Let it unwind. Unwind, unwind. Upshift. Stay behind him, get closer. Start coming underneath. There you go. Slow bearing. Got lots of space. Easy, not 